Pisces couples. <laughs> Hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And this is your reading from today, March 12th, 2018 and through March 19th, Monday. Okay, so let's see what's in store for you, Pisces couples. There could be some type of a work, a work circumstance. I was going to say situation, and the circumstance just popped right out. Um, that could be in limbo right now. You could be feeling like your job is in limbo or that your relationship is in limbo. Maybe someone, one of you is trying to work on it and the other one just is not sure what it is that they want. Okay, so you do have someone who is in the situation. They're there for convenience. They're there for what they can get out of the situation. And once they've gotten what they can get, they're off. They're leaving. They haven't left yet. They're hanging around, but it's only a matter of time before things just come to a head. <sighs> yeah, because someone's not going to hang around for very long. And I feel like you saw this coming. This isn't something that is a surprise to you, really. It might hit you pretty hard when you see that they're taking action and actually take off and become independent of you. Someone wants to become independent. They, they don't want this farce of a partnership any longer. Someone's feeling disappointed. Or someone is, is finally drawing the line and saying, you know what, apology not accepted anymore. I can't do this. If you're really sorry you wouldn't continue to do things that, you, that um, continue to break down the relationship. That type of thing. Someone just does not know when to stop talking. Someone doesn't realize when they've already won. They just keep going and going and going in the situation. And so it looks like you're ready to give this cup of love to someone else because you feel like the person that you're dealing with doesn't appreciate it. They're rejecting your cup of love. And so you're ready to give this cup of love to somebody that can appreciate you. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Pisces, couple, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Yeah, that's how you're feeling. You're just summing it up in your mind and you're realizing someone just does not want to change. Because as much as God continues to give someone an opportunity, right? Hands in that cup and say, you know what? Let's change some things. Let's work on you. But someone is refusing, refusing to change. They don't want to take that new perspective, that new, that newness. They want to remain the same. So I'm feeling like you're tired of it. You're like, either you look at things differently, Try to grow, okay? Because it looks like Pisces, you're not wanting to stay with someone that's not willing to grow. You're not wanting to be stifled and be held back. So it looks like you're willing to move on from this person because things are very turbulent between you and this person. And you're ready to move on to things that are smoother. So yeah, you're ready to give that offer. This could be you with a job. Maybe you turned down a job offer in the past that was great. You moved on from a job possibly. And yeah, here comes a message about a new one. This could definitely be career related. So maybe the problem was someone can't hear that intuition. You know, here it comes intuitively. Here comes a message. They don't get the message because they refuse to hear, they refuse to change. So how can someone listen to their intuition when they're not in tune? 
And Pisces, you are a highly intuitive sign. Water signs. Pisces is the number one as far as um, intuition. Pisces, then Cancer, then Scorpio. So you are the most intuitive sign. Something's causing you. Something is a barrier. There could be this refusal to see. Or maybe you see it and you just don't want to acknowledge that you see it. Uh, there's heartbreak. It's hurting you that this person doesn't want to change or doesn't want to see how their actions are affecting them. Someone could be an alcoholic and, or a drug addict and they could be choosing that drug or that alcohol over the family. Mm, Pisces, you could be saying a lot of um, hurtful things when you're angry, when you've had enough, a lot to drink. Possibly is a general reading. Keep that in mind. Please don't become offended. It's a general reading. That could be the case for some of you. And uh, someone is ready to sever the ties and move on. Mm -hmm. So what's going on is someone's dealing with someone from the past. Or this could be someone stuck in the past, constantly arguing about the past. Not wanting to do anything about an ex, you know, refusal to, to change. They don't want to change the situation because I'm feeling like there, there's a third party that has entered the equation. It's causing the breakdown of the relationship. It's breaking your partner's heart, but you know, they're saying, well, deal with it because I'm leaving. I've got someone else. Someone's been going back and forth on a decision, and it looks like someone's made a decision. They're leaving. It's tired of the emotional roller coaster, the drama of it all. So you're ready to sever the ties. You could have easily been dealing with an Aries. This could have been someone all about conflict. See, there's three people here in this card. Someone has infiltrated your relationship, and it's an ex. And, you know, the thing is, you didn't see this coming, um, I feel. Not I feel, I'm seeing it, but it's like, internally, I'm like, you didn't see it coming? Really? But maybe not. That, it's general. You're dealing with someone, yeah, like I said, someone just doesn't know how to speak when they've had too much to drink. They can be very immature and childlike after they've had too many drinks. Someone has addiction problems. They're overindulging in alcohol or drugs. Someone's abusing their power and you know they know what words to say to manipulate you. But like I said, you sum things up and you're severing the ties. You're like, I, I'm out of here. I can't take this anymore. Or vice versa. This is your partner saying, you know what, I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of you being emotionally unavailable. I'm leaving. So I'm saying that someone really doesn't know how to talk to the other one. Okay, you could have children involved with this person for sure. That's what I'm seeing. So, out with the old and with the new. And I don't mean that in a callous way. I'm the messenger. I'm telling you the story. So that's all it is. That offer. They weren't playing. They weren't kidding. Now they're putting action behind their words. They said they were going to walk out the door. Maybe you didn't want to hear it. But off they go. And maybe that's why you didn't see it coming. Because you just thought they were playing. You just thought they were kidding. No. They were dealing with someone else the whole time. And they were just waiting for the perfect moment to tell you what it is that they wanted to do. Maybe they found a really messed up way to tell you. They were keeping their options open. They weren't really committed to this relationship like you thought. They had you in limbo the whole time. And that's why, you know, you're trying your best to not worry about it anymore be pride you know but you know you don't really you're hurt 
Maybe you only express this in your quiet moments, right? Before you go to sleep at night. You're crying because you're hurt. How could this person do this to me? The two of you were living as roommates. And so here it is. They hit you with the truth. When you've asked them before, they may have been, you know, been defensive and just lied about it. That could have been why you didn't see it coming, but yeah. Yeah, someone wasn't expressing it before. But things have been unstable for quite some time, and you felt like this person had turned their back on you. And you didn't want this break. You're trying to keep a, a stiff up, upper lip when you're with this person, but you didn't want this to end. You didn't want this break. And there could have been a Gemini involved. You thought this was your king of pentacles. You thought this person was here to stay. You thought you had this situation unlocked, but reality check. Reality hits you here. And off this person goes. You were tired of competing for your spot in this relationship anyway, so is it really a loss to see them go? Yeah, their personality was great. They were a go-getter. They, they went after what they wanted. And in the beginning, you thought it was you that they wanted, but like I said, here comes a healthy dose of the truth. The truth came out, and it hit you pretty hard. But like I said, when you sum this up and you weigh it out, is it really a loss? <sighs> there was a lot of arguing. Someone was very defensive. The two of you were arguing back and forth constantly. And someone was trying to pull the wool over your eyes. And whether you realize it or not, they liked the attention of other people. You know, and that's what they were more about. They weren't about preserving the relationship. But, and again, you know, things end. Is it really a loss, though? Could have been a Scorpio that was involved. It's not really a loss if you really sum it up and see it for real, what it really is. Holy Spirit, this is couple, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. You're manifesting a new beginning. You're not stuck because you're flying free because this situation is enough. You're feeling like you're putting your foot down. You're standing firm. You're saying enough is enough, right? That's giving you that courage to, to fly free, to free yourself of this situation and surrender it because when you're in flow, right? When God or the universe is guiding you to a new level, it's going to be a need to surrender and be in flow, not go against the grain in this situation. There are times, there's a time and place to go against the grain, and this isn't one of them. So once you realize that you're in flow, now you can expect miracles. Right? Things just seemingly fall into place because now, now, you're on the right you're in the right place the right place at the right time with your feet firmly planted you're not wavering now you can cultivate prosperity because you're dwelling in truth and you've risen above it right so you let that person go you let them go because you're simplifying your life Tired of the drama and the competition, the constant bickering, the constant arguing, the immature speech. When this person comes in, the first thing that happens is an arguing, uh, an argument. When you wake up in the morning, there's an argument. When you, you know what I mean? Constant arguing. So you're coming into your power. You're not limiting yourself anymore. You're rising above it. Because like I said, you've been honest with yourself. You summed things up. Now you're stepping into stillness. You're renewing your life. You're throwing away old clutter, old baggage, old ways of thinking that maybe you are refusing to let go of, right? Or this is you moving out, cleaning out your closets, cleaning the skeletons out of the closet, you know, healing.
as part of the lesson. You weren't happy having to fight every day and be defensive. Sometimes you have to come out of your comfort zone and throw away things, people, situations that no longer suit you. Because see this, God is trying to bring you to a new level, but it's like someone was refusing to go with the flow. Refusing to, to sit in stillness, to hear from their intuition. Now that you freed yourself from this situation, you're following your bliss. And you end it. And when they leave, you loose them. You let them go. You're not running after them anymore. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. You know what? No, 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 no. Let me go ahead and pull a card of advice. Did I say that you could have been dealing with a Leo? I don't think I said that. All right. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Leo, Leo, Leo. I don't know why I'm saying Leo. Forgive me, it's Pisces. I make mistakes, everybody. Don't judge me. For Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Pisces. Okay, well, you wanted to stay out. Peace. Oh my gosh, I've been getting this for every zodiac. I got this for Pisces. I got it for Scorpio. And it says, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Not your fears. Fears are nothing but false expectations appearing real. Relationship harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So you're able to make peace with this person, right? Because you're able to come to um, an amicable split with this person. You know, because now you're not resisting anymore. You're not quarreling with this person anymore. You're not resisting change. Something has ignited a change in you. You realize that this isn't the only person, right? You have other options. But you may not realize it. But now you're in a place that you're able to see things differently. So that's what I see for you Pisces couples. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can do so by going directly to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. You can also reach out to me on the Instant Go app. Let that be for something that you have something simple to ask, you know, because you'd benefit more from a personal reading if you have a lot of questions or you're looking for a lot of guidance. But Instant Go is excellent if you have something very simple to ask. It can be very costly, so that's why I put it that way. Um, and I'm available on Instant Go by text only, okay? So keep that in mind, and I will do my best to get to you in within 24 hours. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.